All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a crazy best of three. We have the brothers in law versus the brothers by law, the Mountain Men. So, respectively, each team, Kubi de la Croix, Boy, and BIL, and Mountain Men, they've got Chris Dell snowboarding. And with me, we have three commentators helping me out today. We have Caleb J, User, Hello. which is Gavin, and we've got Enzo, the Rinsler Slayer. So, it's going to be really fun. We're not going to really make much sense, but it's going to be fun to watch. So, let's dive into this. Yep. You don't really have to in a game as crazy as this, right? I know. Such yeah. a high stakes game here in the qualification exactly. round. Whoever wins this wins the opportunity oh. to go up against someone much better than them. <laughs> and yeah, like, no, <laughs> either team, team has it in them. They just have, It's going to come down to whichever team can, you know, land their shots, really, and mm -hmm. just be in the better position. Oh, you man. Know? Kubi's going for the, the ground pinch. I know uh, Kubi can play some killer defense, but him picking that car like that, it's uh, it's kind of shocking because he he doesn't get out of his comfort zone with cars too often, so we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, maybe he's dropped like a thousand hours in that new car, and he's just like, <laughs> I know all the angles with this car now. I'm ready to play. Uh, yeah, it's new the box in the game. Oh man, that was a nice <laughs> shot. It's all about consistent pressure as well. They're keep they're keeping this behind uh, orange orange's line. They're starving them a boost, and you know keeping up the consistent pressure. Like I said, yeah, Mountain Men right historically they've oh almost Ooh. rolled in. Ooh. But as I say that, <laughs> yeah, historically yeah. though, Mountain Men they just they have good defense, but they just can't seem to clear it like well enough get those full clears. So. I think that's going to be the deciding factor. If they can get those really nice clears to stop the aggression, then I think uh, they'll be set for this series. That's true. And when people do this is like when they really push the pedal to the metal aggression wise, uh, the best thing you can do is like keep the ball close and dribble every opportunity you have, uh, make them force the issue and try and get your teammate to, in a better position. That's true. Oh man. That's true. Oh, the dodge is happening. Hit the ball with a purpose. When you hit the ball just to hit it, it never works out good. So. I did a pass play. Oh, it's close. Ooh. Oh, it's close. You just need Mason to go for it. Mm -hmm. Right. A little hesitant there. Yeah. Okay. One thing I, th I think is going to eventually catch them out though, um, uh, brothers in law, or BIL, I'll just call them. They seem to be bunched up in corners very often. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You think it just needs Ooh. to like move around a little bit more, and get some like oh, uh, well, rotations? It's not. It's not necessarily bad, but if uh, Orange catches them out even once, it could lead to goal as well. Ah, uh, so gotcha. They need to be wary. Oh, that's a that's shot. Cool. That's, that's a good shot. shot. Jordan found oh. it with his potato. I'm not talking about his computer thing. or his internet. It, I'm, I'm talking about his car. On Bill. It's just from this first game, we see uh, eight shots to three. You know, like oh, we, sheesh. we talked about before, but it's like very consistent that whichever team is getting more shots it ends up being the winning team. Yep. Like, yeah. Doesn't it doesn't mean that they're the better team? It's just quite simply the team that's applying more pressure and they just have more chances and more to get mm -hmm. goals. You know. Yeah. And on defense, people tend to panic, double commit, you know, waste boost in not very bad positions, but they'll waste it because, like I said, they're panicking. So being the one who's in control of that pressure is, like, key to winning in almost every match. Yeah, that's true. Gavin, do you think we're going to see a double musty reflet, reflip reset? That's what I meant to say. I think we're going to see a double musty reset. Got that under the sleeve for sure. I know he can do it. You think Chris Dell's going to? Or do you Maybe. think Jordan? Oh, I think Jordan no. could definitely get it. Chris Dell could probably do a single. Ah, uh, single musty but. reset? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Snowboarding was almost there. You just, like. You know, that's what I noticed. If you're, like, in the net like that, it's kind of bad because you don't really have the momentum to get up to the ball fast enough. But if you're, mm -hmm. like, kind of, like, parallel with the ball the net rather just kind of outside exactly. of it they'll have like a lot more room to take a bunch of different angles on 
You know, right. from the back post, you can save anything with like 20 boosts, or even even yeah. with no boosts, you can save like 80% of shots. <laughs> right. But, uh, for one on what you said, Gav, uh, two boost pads is all you need. And for what you said, Ramen, uh, people want to rotate into the net for some reason. And when they do that, they'll power slide mm -hmm. and turn around, leaving them in a very bad position if it goes over their head or anything. Whereas if you rotate back post or wherever the post you need to be is, uh, they can react and see the whole play in front of them. Exactly. The key with that is timing too. You gotta yeah. make sure you have momentum while in post. Like you can't stop being stopped at post isn't good either. You know, it's right. almost the same as being stopped in goal. Um, it's just I think even more Open important net. or where oh. you start is the momentum, like for right. defense, the momentum and timing, which just comes with the actual oh, time no. in the game. There's the fourth goal. Ooh, it was almost a musty. <laughs> he tried, man. <laughs> he tried. Don't forget some musty uh, first yeah. instantly wins the game. Yeah, <laughs> instantly. Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird saying the potato tried a musty. <laughs> right. It, it, it doesn't seem like he, he would even get a scoop on it. And that's another thing. Even though the orange was on offense there and it was a breakaway opportunity for blue, was uh, there was no boost on the field for orange because they were held, held on their side so much so they'll get a pinch clear or whatever out of desperation but they won't have any offense to follow up their pressure mm -hmm. do, you, do you not see, you see the uh, the colors I... caleb is pink sorry? and in blue oh no it doesn't show up for me for some reason oh okay oh that's right on perfect matches i have forced own orange and blue i'm sorry oh okay I, like I, I didn't even. Well, I think it's default. Like, well, I don't. Know. That's yeah, interesting. You said yeah, orange. I'm like, yeah, pink that. is not orange. <laughs> I'm colorblind. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The story. The numbers. Kubi, nine shots. Wow. That's more. Nine that's three shots. more. That's three times as many shots as Mountain Man had all together, and he was able to get three goals from it. So, well, uh, we'll see what happens, man. In, in game number two, maybe Mountain Men can make something happen. I just oh man this is um this is Jordan's favorite map. It's my but sorry. I know. Okay. Look at it. It's map. Dude, my eyes literally hurt. Why? Why did Epic Games make this? Why? Yeah. I don't Anyone know. Anyone from Epic Games can hear me. Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, well they watch I... the stream, you know. So uh, maybe you'll oh, you'll get to them. Uh, I know. Epic, add loot crates back, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully he doesn't end Me and here. Gavin never got to experience the crates. Bro, oh. I experienced one um, season of them. I barely saw my PC4, or not my PC, my PS4. I barely got to experience them for like a month, and then they took them away. <laughs> I never seen them playing then. Oh, <laughs> Koopy with a nice follow -through. Nice pass, too. Yeah. I, I heard they were great, though. <laughs> yeah, they were. Right. I, I would not that I would spend so much money on them, but if I finally get a job and I can't get anything from crates now. I was like, oh, yay! <laughs> I know it's not fun to like buy things. It isn't, yeah, true. Because it's like oh, there we go. Oh no! Oh, what a save! Finally a shot though. That was really good. We just yeah. need to see more of that. They just need to hold it. There, I, I uh, see. Uh, um, they give it away. At the yeah, beginning, I, I was rooting for Bill, but I like to root for the earned dogs. And I kind of want oh, Mountain Men to make a comeback, so yeah. I, I just hope they add more pressure. Ooh, that was good. Right. Yeah, you see snowboarding. He seems so hesitant. Look how far back he's playing. And it's mm -hmm. just one person. Yeah, it's... I think it's... Oh, well, he's low boost, but that, that comes with time, learning the boost pad routes. And that's something he needs to learn, too. But it all comes with time, and it's pretty simple to learn eventually. I also see that they're both pretty glued to the ground, and it's like, e even if you're not experienced with aerials, just taking those attempts. Oh, there it is, though! Chris Dell! You know? Chris Dell got That's a nice true. cut. Yeah. Finally. Then again, it, then again, if you're really confident in your dribble plays, of course you need to block some aerials like they have some shots on. That's in the air. Of course, block it, right? But... Mm -hmm. If you're really confident in your ground play. Oh no. Try. Oh, what a redirect. Ooh. Man. Yeah. That was a nice redirect. I did not it think that was indeed. going in. 
That was a good 52 from Dala. I'm just gonna call him Dala. Dala. It's Crouch Dala. Boy. Dala. Croak's boy. Dala. <laughs> <laughs> So up until I was like Diamond 2, I kind of just, I played just to like play my own game and oh, I didn't really realize how important it is to pay attention to where everyone else is on the field, including yeah. your opponents and teammates. So that was a huge, that, I mean, that pretty much put me from Diamond 2 oh, to what? Champ 2. Jeez. <laughs> what a shot, dude. But that's very important to uh, I know. look out for the whole time you're playing. Dala's kind of popping off a little bit. Wow. Right. That was nice. Yeah, and I can, I mean, it just seems that snowboarding is out of his comfort zone, because uh, in reality, if he felt comfortable, he could have challenged that. So. Yeah, I think that just comes with experience. I think he's one of our, sure. like, less... Newer. Like, yeah, he has yeah. the... That's fine. I, was just I don't know if it's newer, but he has the least, one of the least amount of hours in the league so far. Right. But we'll see if that changes next uh, season or not. How much does he have? Just curious. I have no idea. I just, I I don't think he's you think so? yeah. played a terrible amount. I was genuinely surprised with how fast people learn, even if they're like brand spanking new. I've had a few friends do that and it just surprised me. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him come come back around next. Yeah. Know, next couple matches he's in. It's kind of with any hobby. As soon as you kind of find that drive to get better. You, you right. do it really quick. Ooh, that's close. That's true. Like I notice when I pick up a new game, if I just kind of fall for it and I like really love that game, I'll look up all the guides I can and I'll just like be like falling asleep to like reading new guides and listening to YouTube videos. And then within like a couple weeks, I like rank up by at least one tier. So it nice. kind of just depends on, uh, you know, the ambition. And it really too at the time that you have as well. I know these guys got actual like real lives, so mm -hmm. people can have those. It's kind of a minor, a minor mechanic, but I noticed I like both uh, Dala and Kubi uh, use air roll, uh -huh. and uh, the mountain men. Yeah, I've seen him use it. Yeah, use air roll. So that's just kind of a sure sign of the experience, or at least. Uh, how much they practice, you know, Ooh, like nice aerial mechanics. Yeah, that's true. I haven't really seen him go up too much in the air at all. So Ooh. that is a lot of times like, oh, there's an air roll. We just saw an air oh, roll. Yeah. The open Ooh. net shot oh. off the corner. Oh. No. Oh, man. That, that was, was so, so close. close. <laughs> but there again, he had so no close. boost on his drive. So, yeah. uh, and that's like due to the, like the pressure that Blue has, or excuse me, uh, I'll just call him, uh, Oh, Bill. Bill. <laughs> Bill. Yeah. Billy. 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 Brothers in law. Brothers in law. Yeah. Bobby. That's what I'm going. Oh, off the cross oh, guard. The oh my gosh. Ah. Oh, oh, they got it. Indeed. The one thing I really like about Mountain Men is, even though they've lost all the games so far that they've played, they always have like a fun time and are enjoying everything. So like yeah. I always talk to them like after the fact and they're just having a great time. They're enjoying like just being able to play in a structured league with a bunch of friends. So that's, I really like that true. about them. That's a good I, mentality what, to have. Right. That's what got me and Gavin into it last season. We weren't very like I don't, we weren't very good last season, you know. And we just came in because we we're like play with friends, Rocky League. Right. Sure, yeah. that sounds fun. I, I can imagine Gavin that's wasn't especially, but. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> I know Gavin, his like off season, he just like grew so much as a player. It was crazy. Even yeah, like yeah, during the league, he was just like putting in so many hours. It was awesome. That's that's cool. I was like, yeah. I gotta get better. <laughs> yeah. That first season we played, I was like, okay, this cannot be. I gotta do better. Ooh. Even though it is okay. obviously just for fun. That was nice. For me personally, I was like, I yeah. gotta got to work on some stuff right and the That's more you work on stuff and yeah. you're already into the game the more enjoyable it becomes you know people start the game and get disappointed because they don't have mechanics or they say they're not good at positioning but anyone can do anything with a certain amount of time it's just the drives you have for it yeah exactly yeah and i was saying uh, of course this is all thanks to you though Roman. but i was like hey i could have been put here if you guys had like 10 or 12 SSLs, it would have been a 
blast that would have, like you said, put be put in a structured event thing with a bunch of friends. Uh huh. Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> if we had a bunch of best as well, but either way, this is fun. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to next season because of the draft. The big player draft is gonna actually help so many of the newer people or the people that are a little bit lower in leagues, because. Right. Uh, every team is gonna have at least like one pretty high decently ranked person and mm -hmm. then like a couple one or two um like mid-tier people and so like right. those those mid-tier people and those like people that are still learning like they're gonna have so much access to resources to learn and play together and that's gonna like really help a lot of these guys improve a lot faster but anyways with this match bil they take it Pretty decisively, uh, Pretty 14 decisive. shots yep. to four, so they had 10 more shots. But we had a couple really nice, um, good looks, yeah, yeah, really nice looks from, especially Chris Deli. had some really nice shots. Right. So, you know, these guys, they next season, next match, even like yep. uh, we'll see what they're gonna be capable of. I'm excited to see what they can do. Exactly, especially snowboarding. Once he gets in his comfort zone. I mean, just like with any new player, you don't know what to expect, but you can you can only think like what he could do, right? So yeah. once he gets that finds that groove. Yeah, that's one cool knows. thing is like any new player there's just so many possibilities nice. for these guys and uh they it could be such like crazy players just really depends on what they wanna they wanna practice, what makes them you know, tick, what makes them excited to play the game and stuff. Indeed.